So Halloween is officially come and gone, which means we gotta wait another year to talk about scary stuff, unless you're like me. Then spooky season basically never ends. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Just some movies you can watch, you can throw on for that fall atmosphere. Very relaxing, very cozy feeling. Sometimes you just wanna throw something on that reminds you of the weather. When leaves are on the ground, you got the windows cracked, some cold air. These are what these movies are to me. They're not all necessarily my favorite, but they are films I like to revisit around this time of year. So hopefully you guys get something out of this. If you do, comment down below let me know what your favorites are what you think of my list subscribe to the channel the support means everything to me these are some of my favorite fall atmosphere spooky movies you can turn on around this time of year and have a blast So starting off this list with what I would say is basically the perfect movie for this atmosphere, that is Sleepy Hollow by Tim Burton. If you're unfamiliar in this one, you have Ichabod Crane who is sent to Sleepy Hollow to investigate the decapitations of three people, only to find out the culprit is legendary apparition, the Headless Horseman. So if you're unfamiliar with that urban legend, you have this guy on horseback who rides around with an axe and he decapitates people because he's looking for a head to replace his own. That was pretty cool, right, for Halloween, but you have Johnny Depp in this one, it's by Tim Burton, I love the aesthetic of this movie. The movie has some of my my favorite cinematography ever it, the picture is just awesome the soundtrack is awesome there's so many big name people in this it is just the perfect cozy movie for fall not necessarily the best overall movie when it comes to story and the pacing and things like that but i've always forgiven it you follow my channel you know my interests and likings i love tim burton films i love his aesthetic i love what he does he has his fingerprint all over this movie. Again, it stars Johnny Depp. That combination cannot be beat. But the picture is just beautiful. It's black and white. It's misty. A lot of pumpkin patches, scarecrows with pumpkin heads. It's just everything you want in the fall film. This movie, even though it's not one of my all-time favorites, is definitely one of my favorite movies the way it's filmed. It just looks so awesome. So for that reason, I've always given it a pass. I seemingly always find myself watching this whenever it comes on TV around this time of year. I go, oh, Sleepy Hollow's on. I throw it on. Can't be beat. So perfect movie for the background. Perfect movie when you're carving a pumpkin or throwing in pumpkin seeds. It just has that absolute feel you want this time of year. I love it. Check out Sleepy Hollow if you haven't seen it. Next movie I wanted to talk about on this list that has that Halloween time of year fall atmosphere vibe is Hell House LLC. Now this movie's kind of garnered a reputation over the years as being a pretty effective found footage film, which I would agree with. And the plot of this one is you have five years after an unexplained malfunction causes the death of 15 tour goers and staff on opening night at a Halloween haunted house tour. The documentary crew travels back to the scene of the tragedy to figure out what really happened. And I'm kind of on the record as not being fanatical about found footage in general, but I think this one's actually really effective and pretty creepy. I heard about this movie for years before I checked it out, and I kind of put it off because, as I just said, not really my wheelhouse, not really crazy in the found footage. And I was really surprised how tense this thing is. It takes place around Halloween time. You have this documentary crew going to this haunted house, and they're filming the location, setting it up. They're trying to make their own haunted house in an actual haunted location. All you know is something really bad happened years ago. You don't really know what happened in the house. And you keep getting these very strange paranormal things going on. You have a very scary clown entity that introduced in this franchise in this movie. If you're a fan of found footage films and you somehow have not seen the Hell House series, I recommend you check this out immediately. This one is a very effective, well above average one. But yeah, this one takes place around Halloween. There's leaves on the ground. There's some pumpkin mentions at points. So if you're into that vibe and you like found footage films, this one's probably the perfect movie on this list for you. Recommend you check it out if you have not seen it. Hell House LLC. Definitely a pretty good franchise in general. Next movie I wanted to talk about is a movie that came out a couple of years ago, and it's another movie doing that riff on a haunt or a haunted house, and it's actually called Haunt. If you're unfamiliar what it's about, you have on Halloween, a group of friends encounter an extreme haunted house that promises to feed on their darkest fears. The night turns deadly as they come to the horrifying realization that some nightmares are real. When I checked this one out a couple of years ago, I was so pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed it. That's kind of a trope at this point in horror films, going to a haunted house, a festival, a haunt. And just the way it plays out, them getting trapped in there, getting picked off one by one. I had mild and tame expectations for this, but I heard good things about it, and I thought this movie was so good. In fact, it's definitely one of the best versions of that haunted house haunt movie I've ever seen. Because what this movie does well that a lot of them don't do around this time of year it diverts your expectations for what you think is going to happen when you get inside this house. It has some really creative characters and costume designs, the way they set this room up. And it kind of plays out more like an escape room than a haunted house. And I really like that puzzle element whenever you get it in the film. There's just some really unsettling things that go on in this film. The people they run into, some of the challenges they're presented in these rooms. It feels a lot more believable in a weird way to say about a horror film like this than a lot of these movies do. 
And I just think this is another one of those films. If you like haunted house movies, you like that riff of people getting stuck in a haunted house or a haunt and people picking them off and you get some really cool costume designs. This one's probably for you. It takes place on Halloween when you have this group of friends going there. I think it's well above average in this genre. So if you've never checked it out, check out Haunt. I believe it's on Amazon Prime right now. It might even be on Tubi. This one's one of the better ones. And I think it has good reviews as well. So a lot of people are kind of catching on to it recently. Can't recommend it enough. Check out Haunt. This movie is a blast. The next movie on the list I wanted to talk about that's also kind of garnered a reputation over the years is It Follows. Most people are probably familiar with this one or kind of know what it's about, but if you're not, it's described as a young woman is followed by an unknown supernatural force after a sexual encounter. And It Follows is definitely one of those films that is kind of both literal and metaphorical. It's kind of elevated because everything they're going for with the entity is kind of relatable to an STD. Obviously, she sleeps with this guy, then this entity latches onto her like an STD. That's what makes this movie so interesting. It's very claustrophobic. There's a paranoia to it. Because after she has this entity following her, hence it follows, it just never stops. It's like a 24-7 chase where this monster, it's not absolutely ruthless in the way it chases like it's sprinting or anything. It's just permanently walking after you. So that existential dread, you cannot escape this thing, similar to an STD. That's what this movie's going for, and I think it is highly effective. Because no matter where you're going, you see this person in the distance just slowly walking at you, or just an unsettling image of somebody staring at you, you're not really sure why they're looking at you. It's permanent paranoia that something is out to get you and you cannot stop it no matter what. That's what made this movie so effective and I really enjoy this film. I know it's not for everybody, it's a little bit slow to some. But I really like the way this movie is shot. I think the soundtrack is absolutely awesome with that synth wave music. I am a fan of that 80s synth. That's what this movie soundtrack is throwing back to. It's also kind of the movie that really made Micah Monroe's career blow up. So I have to point that out. She's great in this. Very low budget takes place in the suburbs. It also has some very effective jump scares, some very effective setups. So it does have horror elements as well. I always rag on elevated horror for not being able to manage that balance of reality and the metaphor. I think this movie is one of the better examples of being able to do that. So if you've never checked out It Follows somehow, I recommend you do because they're making a sequel soon and it also is just a very effective movie in my opinion. It's got that dread to it, leaves are on the ground, fall atmosphere. I really like this movie. I'm one of those people who gets behind it. So the next movie I wanted to talk about is a little known hidden gem called Dark Harvest. Now this one's a little bit of a cheat because it's definitely more Halloween-y than fall, but you still got some pumpkins in here. You still got scarecrows, a cornfield. But if you're unfamiliar with it, it's described as in a small Midwestern town, a deadly annual ritual unfolds when the mythical nightmare Sawtooth Jack rises from the cornfields and challenges the town's teenage boys in the bloody battle for survival. So this one's kind of hard to describe, but in a good way, stick with me. So every year on Halloween, all of the boys in the town go out and they need to kill Sawtooth Jack. He's like this entity scarecrow that's grown or something, I don't really know, but they have to kill this guy every night on Halloween before midnight when he reaches the church, or there will be dire consequences to the town. And the payment for this is they will basically pay that family a luxurious sum of money and make that family rich. Well, there's this giant competition going on every Halloween where all of the boys are going out and they're all just battling, trying to kill this sinister entity that is absolutely bloody and ruthless. It's like beheading people and is killing people. It's got a bunch of leaves on the ground, a killer scarecrow killing these kids when they're out trick-or-treating during Halloween time. Absolutely ridiculous and goofy. Takes itself a little bit too seriously at points for me, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. Tries to be a little bit more profound than I think it needs to be, and it's got a kind of predictable twist at the end, but it's dumb, schlocky, goofy fun. So if the premise sounds quirky and interesting to you, you'll probably have a good time with this one. This one is definition of low-hanging fruit. Turn your brain off, enjoy a silly Halloween film. I think this movie's a pretty good one to throw on around that time of year. So the next movie on this list I wanted to talk about, and if you follow my channel, you're probably getting sick of me talking about it because I cannot stop gloating about how much fun I have with this movie. That is Cobweb. Really happy this movie's starting to get some buzz around it. For a while, it seemed like nobody had ever heard of it, but I'm fighting a good fight. I'm putting people onto it. I've done a review of this on my channel. You want to check that out. But what it's about, if you're unfamiliar, it's described as an eight-year-old boy tries to investigate the mysterious knocking sounds that are coming from inside the walls of his house unveiling a dark secret that his sinister parents have kept hidden from him. Now what I really love about this film, aside from the fact that it just has spooky vibes oozing all over it with this family having a pumpkin patch in their backyard for some reason, it's a haunted house film, true and true. You have this family where stuff's going on in their house, there's a knocking inside this kid's wall. The way this film is shot is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. Very dimly lit, heavy blues, the lighting just looks really cool. The way they've lit in this house up just feels like you're in a haunted house with this kid. 
I love that vibe and this movie does it better than just about any other one. What I really like about it is I'm a fan of haunted house movies in general. Whenever you put people in a location and something spooky happens, everything you think you know is going to happen about in this house and where it's going to go constantly gets flipped on its head and does a 180 and it keeps you guessing in a really silly and fun way all the way up to an absolutely ridiculous ending which really works for me does not work for everybody but it works for me i love the ending of this film so if you're looking for a smarter creative silly haunted house film that constantly keeps you guessing has a lot of twist to it and you've never heard of or you've never seen me gloat about cobweb Go check it out. I believe it's on Hulu right now. I cannot get enough of this film. I think it is absolutely perfect for the fall time and Halloween. One of my favorite haunted house films, honestly. And the last movie I wanted to mention is kind of a cheat and it's an honorable mention because I wouldn't even call this a horror film, but it definitely has a fall time vibe. That is The Guest. Now this is another movie that I feel like has sort of started to pick up steam because Dan Stevens has blown up in the horror community. But this is one of my all time favorite movies and I just never hear anybody talk about it. But whenever I get the opportunity to, I'm gonna gloat about it. So let's talk about The Guest. If you're unfamiliar with this one, it's described as a soldier introduces himself to the Peterson family claiming to be a friend of their son who died in action. After the young man is welcomed into their home, a series of accidental deaths seem to be connected to his presence. What you have happening in this one, you have Dan Stevens staying with his family because he says he knew their son who passed away in the war. They take him in and very soon you realize something's off of this guy or something's not what it says. You get this kind of mystery to who this guy is and what's going on surrounding this guy because people start dying and going missing. And it is just an absolute blast all the way up to an absolutely wild conclusion on Halloween night. Once again, Micah Monroe is in this. If you're unfamiliar with her, she played the lead in Long Legs. People really liked her performance in that. Great in this. As always, Dan Stevens. I cannot get enough of the guy playing this soldier. He is absolutely phenomenal in this. In fact, I'll give a hot take. I think this is Dan Stevens' best role. This is the movie that made me fall in love with this guy's acting. He is ridiculously good in this role. There is so much to like about this movie. It takes place during the fall. It actually concludes on Halloween night at this ball. And what I really like about this movie, what I always remember it for, it probably has, I won't go as far as to say my favorite, but it's a top three movie soundtrack of all time, in my opinion, all original sounds. I love this movie soundtrack. If you like 80s synthwave, you like that retro music style, it has some absolutely awesome stuff. So look it up on YouTube, honestly. Go look up the guest soundtrack and just jam out during work. It's so good. So I love everything about this movie. I love the twist that it has going. I love the action. I love the mystery angle. The soundtrack is awesome. One of my all-time favorite movies. I cheated putting it on this list. It's not really even a horror movie. It's kind of a mystery thriller, whatever you want to call it. I just have a great time with it, but it takes place during the fall. So I'm going to cheat and put it on the list. Go check out the guest. You'll have a great time if you love Dan Stevens. This movie's fucking awesome. So there you have it, guys. Those are some movies to check out. If you haven't seen them that have that fall atmosphere around this time of year, if you like a horror movie that fits that description, go check them out. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my recommendations. You love them, hate them. Tell me your list of movies you love around this time of year. If you haven't subscribed already, join me down below. I do everything on this channel, these type of videos, movie reviews. So join me. That's all I got. Peace.